So you went to Maine Fiora. Well, prepare to be called a no-skill, worthless piece of shit by everyone in the community, but do you like dueling? Do you like the French? Do you like true damage? Do you like snowballs? And do you like blocking every skill in the game? Then Fiora, the Grand Duelist, is for you. Well, that was fun. Oh shit, oh dear! I'm on the way in two seconds. I'm on the way. Never mind. I'm on the way, dude. We're okay. Coming nope. Out. Nope. It's okay. It's okay. Out. Nope. 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 Frost, stay away from this land. Coming to hell! No! Fewer's lore is that at a young age, she was raised in a very wealthy Demosthenian family known as the House of Laurent. Laurent? Laurent. 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 They gave her dolls and dresses and all those cutesy little things, but she didn't really give a shit. Generally cut them down with a rapier as a kid. When she was older, she was forced into an arranged wedding, but defied the notion, basically said fuck that, which made her disgrace the entire family she was supposed to be married to, and that's unacceptable in Demacia. So her father, being the head of the house, had to duel the other house, but attempted to poison the other contestant, which is an extremely high offense to their honor. Fiora's father was then told he would be publicly shamed by being hung in the streets and his family exiled from Demacia, but on the night of his execution, Fiora had the option to expunge the shame from their family by dueling her father to the death. And she did. And she absolutely R-E-K-T, that spells wrecked, him and kept her family from exile. Now Fiora is the new head of the house and generally kills anybody that disparages her family name. She also refuses to marry anybody, so go ahead and stop shipping League characters, okay? In-game, Fiora will fuck you up. As somebody who played both the old and new Fiora, I am so happy to see they kept the Oh look, I got one kill over you and a few more CS, guess I can 1v5 everybody now. Snowballing style that Fiora has. Oh what's this, you built full tank on Fiora? Oh that's okay, you still got true damage, guaranteed crits, four separate true damage zones, and an ability that stops anything that might hurt you. You know it's kind of funny because people say that Fiora is such a brain dead champion that's super easy to play and takes no skill, but I'm pretty sure they're just salty as fuck because they keep getting demolished by her in lane, and then she goes full tank and then demolishes their team, and then when they're like, report this noob ass top lane or fed the Fiora GG. If you think this Fiora is brain dead, which, spoiler alert, she really isn't, then you should have seen the old Fiora. QEQW, slap, 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 ult, boom, you've insta give the entire enemy team. This Fiora actually has output potential and a lot of cool tricks up her sleeve. People who say Fiora is brain dead are the same people that say Yasuo is brain dead. We call those people. <clears throat> bronze. Although I may be a bit biased. So Fiora's passive is a little mini-game. Passively, vitals are marked on enemy champions. The mark is a quarter arc around them. They take half a second to identify and they last 15 seconds. Attacking a vital triggers it, and once triggered it deals true damage. Damage is a percentage of maximum health with AD scaling, and it heals Fiora for a flat amount and the heal is based on level. Also grants a decaying movement speed bonus and here is some stabbing math. This is one of the major things that makes Fiora so strong because you're dealing percentage max health in true damage. That means with enough of these you can crack through even the toughest of tanks because, well the resistances won't stop all that shit. The minigame helps Fiora trade in lane, but it can also be situational since the vials will sometimes be on the side of an enemy she can't hit. Fiora's Q is half of her old Q. Fiora lunges forward, stabs an enemy after the lunge. The stab deals physical damage, applies on hit effects, and prioritizes vitals marked. If the lunge hits something, the cooldown is reduced, and here is some lunging math. This is Fiora's most basic move, but the one you'll be using the most. You use it to engage, to get away, to get poke on exposed vitals, to add to your trading combo. It's just a nice skill, and the cooldown at max rank is abysmally low as long as you keep hitting things. Fiora's W is fuck every skill in the game, my name is Fiora. Activates a small channel. All damage and spells are negated. Let me say that again. All damage and spells are negated. Oh, besides turret damage. After channel, deal short forward stab. Deals magic damage with AP scaling. Damage slows movement speed and attack speed for enemy champions. If one immobilizing ability is parried, instead they are stunned. And here's some bullshit math. This skill may be one of the most amazing basic skills in the game. Everything is blocked by this. This is literally a fight changer in itself. Everything can be blocked. If they dare hit you with some CC, you literally just absorb it like a sponge. And stun them instead it is so amazing. You get so much leverage 
damage with this. It's awesome. Fiora's E is guaranteed crits. Next to auto attacks gain bonus range, also 50% attack speed. First attack will never crit. Instead, it slows them for one second. The second attack will always crit and uses a modified crit damage based on level. Resets the auto attack timer as well, and here is some blade math. You know, I actually never knew this ability gave Fiora bonus range on her auto attacks. Takes you all the way to 200 range, that's pretty neat. This is a classic trading tool. The slow guarantees you'll get the free crit off and most likely use it to hit a vial or something of that sort. It's nice. Finally, Fiora's ultimate is big minigame. Passively, your passive movement speed is increased. Actively, it spawns vitals on all four sides of the champ. Lasts about eight seconds and gains a passive movement speed in the small area around the enemy. If each vital is destroyed, it creates a large healing zone. Heal is for Fiora and her teammates. The heal duration is increased per vital broken. If the time runs out or the enemy doesn't die, the heal is negated. If the enemy dies without one vital breaking, the heal is also negated. The heal can occur if enemy dies with at least one vital broken, and the heal is based off an AD scaling. And here is some long-term heal math. This is a little weird to explain. If you hit at least one of the four vitals, you'll get a heal so long as they die. And if you get all four of the vitals, you get a heal regardless of if they die. The movement speed bonus lasts a long time, and you basically need to dance around the enemy champion to get them off because the heal is absolutely ridiculous if you get it. You can heal massive amounts of damage for you and your team through this ability alone, and even if you don't get the heal, that's four separate opportunities for true damage. So skill max on Fiora, I go QEW. Q because you'll use it the most, gives the most decent poke and is nice for escapes. E second because leveling up the crit damage is very useful, and W last because it's the last spell. But how do I play Fiora? Sweet. Fiora is how you get reported in League of Legends. She went from a glass cannon snowball that if you got even the tiniest bit behind you were useless in her old form, to this I can build tanky and still kill everybody in the game snowball of doom in the new form. She is monstrous in the right hands and can solo carry games in the right hands. And I never heard so many people hating this champion so much, which is really unfortunate for me because, well, I main her. I love Fiora. She is so much fucking fun. Her entire kick just screams 1v3 outplay surrender at 20. Your passive gives you so much damage, your Q makes you more slippery than prison soap, and your W, holy shit, your W is the greatest thing that's ever come out of League of Legends. It blocks everything, everything. You can block Darius Dunk, Azir Wall, Karthus Ultimate. You can block Ignite. You can block fucking Ignite. You don't care at all when you have this skill, and it becomes kind of funny because it turns into a little mind game. You know, Garen is in lane, tries to silence Fiora, but he knows she has W, so he waits to use his Q so he can try to bait Fiora to use her W. But Fiora knows that Garen knows she has her W, so she waits it out instead of popping it immediately. But Garen knows that Fiora knows that Garen knows that Fiora knows that, and it just becomes this mind game of when you're gonna hit that W. Since some of the most powerful abilities can be straight up negated altogether, and you can even get a stun back on them for it. And then you get to ult and you can nail all those vitals and do that little Fiora dance. Then you and your entire mid team get a massive free heal from it, which basically will regen you back to full health if you proc all four vitals. Fiora just likes to dance and slide and stab and swipe and stab again. And now there's this new skill ceiling for this champion that if you are good enough, Fiora will do beautiful things. So now, let me tell you how to make big dick plays. In lane, it's all about getting those vitals. If you have one facing you, there is no reason not to go in for the Q poke. It heals you, lets you move faster afterwards, and deals major poke. Keep doing this until you have your three abilities and do your normal trading combo. The combo is Q in on a vital, do one auto attack, reset with your E to get the slow, then use your crit on whatever the other vital is popping up at. And then, if you have them on the defensive, keep attacking them. If they turn to retaliate, use your W to stop it, and then back off. Do this over and over again and you will surely win lame. Mid game, it's time to start dealing major damage, whether it be fighting for an objective or small scale team fights, your job is to dish out as much damage as you can. If you aren't being insta-focused, pop your ultimate on the enemy AD carry and just watch them as they scramble away trying to get away from all your free true damage. If you can blow them up, awesome. If not, use your ultimate on a tank or some other type of damage dealing enemy to help chunk them down excessively since it's percentage max health true damage. God, that is just so dirty for me to say that, huh? Percentage max health true damage. Ugh, oh, fuck you, Vayne. Late game, it's not much different than mid game. The only difference is that your W is much, much more important now. 
The enemy team will definitely try and use some major CC to try and shut you down. Your job is to negate the largest amount of it and the largest amount of damage you can. You can still fly in towards the enemy to care if you want, but if your team needs a bit of peel perhaps, ulting the tank like I said before will help chunk them down. And not only that, but since your heal is at bullshit levels in the late game, you can use the four vitals to help secure a sustain for your whole team and heal up any damage they took during the fight. Honestly, your job is just to do excessive damage, whether that be to tanks or the carries is all up to what your team needs. For Fiora builds, I go with these runes as well as these masteries. With your Q and E being so powerful and fast, you get fervor of battle very quickly and the extra armor penetration in the ferocity tree is awesome. Build wise, I have a more standard high damage Fiora build and also a more tanky style Fiora build. I mean both do a ton of damage, it's just whether or not you want the sustained amounts or high burst. Champions that counter Fiora are kind of few and far between because of her ability to block everything in the game. But if I had to pick three specific champions that I think do okay against Fiora, it would be Pantheon the Baker, Renekton the Gator, and Malphite the Rock Layer. Pantheon because his lane poke is very strong, he blocks auto attacks, and his stun is so fast it's hard to predict. Renekton because his lane sustain is insane, and his stun, if the Renekton player is good, is hard to bait out and happens very quickly. And Malphite because he has an attack speed slow, a movement speed stealing ability, and heavy amounts of armor with a passive shield that makes him tough to crack. Lastly, Fiora skins are cool as fuck hat Fiora, my face is up here Fiora, I know where this is going Fiora, and the robo hips don't lie Fiora. And finally, before I go, here are the usual Fiora clips. Enjoy. One second, I'm gonna go kill this Darius. Take revenge for all the times when you came out and I wanted to try Riven. <laughs> it didn't fucking work. What was that? That's an Annie bear. Oh, there's an Annie. Bitch. It's for stealing my fucking teddy bears as a child. Ooh, hey, look, a Galio. <laughs> oh, hey, look, an Udyr. Daryl, help. Stop screaming and help me. I'm stuck. Hmm, that's an Udyr. Oh. Not anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, Galio. Here we go. Alright. One more, one more, one more. No, my oh, W didn't go off! Damn it! You didn't parry stun, what a fucking yeah, bad thing. I didn't play. parry the fuck. Can't use, it can't use the clip anymore. It. Damn it, I it. thought I pressed the button. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Now you know what it takes to be a Fedora main. Uh, Fiora main. If this guide got you to Challenger, please like and subscribe. And if you want to ask any questions, see updates, or witness my climb in the ELO ladder, my Twitch, TV, and Twitter links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Bricky Orchidate, and don't fuck up my solo queue. Bye bye. <laughs>